Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, last video, we deployed this, using this data set, we deployed an XGBoost binary classification model on AWS using SageMaker into production and SageMaker pipelines as well. And we got it approved, evaluated default model monitor. Well, today we're going to hypertune the parameters and do something simple with a CatBoost classifier. And we're going to uh, predict the new data using this data set as well. See my last video, or if you have the data from before already clean from the last video, save it and use it and skip some of the steps. Okay, so as you can see, target is our target for um, the training. And then the test, we need to drop the, the nuns. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Because I already dropped it in the previous uh, video. Target class, none. So you need to drop that anyways. We also need to label encode and fill in A's for zero as well. Okay, so read uh, the data frame that was already cleaned. I'm going to do some of these steps over again. Label encode the training. See it with pandas with the head function. And uh, there's our features everything but the target class, and then there's our target. Axis equals one, taint, trust, taint, split. There's your standard scaler. And we gotta import these libraries and install catboost, import it as well. These are for cross-validation. Okay, cat equals the catboost classifier. K equals cat fit to train it, and Y pred equals the prediction of X test. Okay, now we're going to splice and see some of the predictions. Accuracy score to evaluate it, 97%. There's our classification reward, F1 score, and confusion matrix. As you can see, it did pretty good, 87% F1 score, which is very important in accuracy itself. There's your confusion matrix. And then these are the parameters that we're going to use to hypertune. We're going to use grid search CV. We're going to score it with the AUC metric, and we're going to do this right here. Fit it and see the results, some of the scores. Now we're going to put it in the data frame. As you can see, it got 98% on one of the test scores. Now, isn't that pretty great? Now we're going to read the data frame. Do the same thing as you did with the train data as you're going to do with this data. Now you're going to predict the test, and then you're going to see some of the predictions. No way to cross-validate because there's no um, ground truth. You know, we're predicting. We're using the model to predict on new data. Remember that column? is dropped and there was nothing there before it. It was all nuns. That's why we're getting the model accurate, even more accurate, to use it to predict. Okay. I hope you guys learned from this video. Feel free to use your own methods for hypertuning the parameters. Remember, these are the these are the parameters you can hypertune. And you can see some of the best training jobs, all that good stuff. This is just a building block in case uh, you don't know how to hypertune a cat boost classifier. They have cat boost regressors as well, which I used in one of my other videos for deploying a Uber Fares web app. Remember that, guys? If you guys are curious about how doing that with Streamlit and not too much code, check out my other video. That one was a cat boost regressor. This is a cat boost classifier. Okay, guys. And next time we're going to do something simple again. And then I'm going to take a break. And then we're going to go back to SageMaker. But we're probably going to use image classifier, BERT pipeline, BERT model itself, and many other things. Okay, guys, stay tuned. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you.